The giant Trinosaurus Rex chased after the fierce Triceratops. Roar! Roar, roar, roar! Where are you going, Grandpa? <gasps> Shh! Grandma's in a busy mood. I'm keeping out of her way. The massive Trinosaurus Rex waved his tail and growled. Hurrah! Ah, oh, Zoo! There you are. The very person I need to help me do the washing. Washing? Yes. It's a perfect drying day, so I thought I'd wash the sheets. But, but... I'm sorry, Grandma. Elsie's coming to play. <laughs> She'll be here any minute. <laughs> Aha! The very person I need to help me with the washing. Ah, well, you see, I was just, um... Ah, uh, no excuses, dear. This way. Than your triceratops. A billion years ago, my triceratops was as high as a tree and he only ate leaves. My Trianosaurus Rex was even bigger. He was as big as my house. A dinosaur wouldn't even fit into your garden. His head would be here and his tail would be in the park. I wonder what it's like being as big as a house. Imagine being so long you couldn't even see the end of your tail. I've got a great idea, Elsie. Let's build a giant dinosaur right here in my garden. How? We could use cardboard boxes. Grandpa's got loads. Let's ask him to help us. Come on, let's build Zonk. Who's Zonk? Our giant dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> this way, Elsie. I really don't know what I would have done without you. Any time. You can start with these. I've got more in the shed. I think I've got some cardboard boxes in my room. I'm going home to look for some material to cover Zonk. Whoops. Whoop. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you should be able to build a herd of dinosaurs with this lot, Zoo. Thank you, Grandpa. I found some stuff, too. <sighs> well, let's get to work. To avoid accidents, I'll work on Zonk's head and neck, whilst you concentrate on his back and feet. OK, Grandpa. What's that, Sue? <laughs> That's Zonk's bottom! Ta-da! Look what I found! Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. I think we might need more material to cover our dinosaur zoo. Have you got any material in your garage, Grandpa? Um, <laughs> probably. <laughs> These might come in handy. Up a bit, Zoo. No, down a bit, Grandpa. Well, that's no good, Zoo. You've uncovered Zonk's head. <laughs> and you've just uncovered his bottom. Look, I've made dinosaur spikes for Zonk. That's really clever, Elsie. Lucky I found your cushion, hey, Zoo. And the sheet, too. <laughs> <laughs> Pity it's not just a bit bigger. Oh, look. 
And keep the family waiting. Can Elsie stay for supper too? Please, Grandpa. <laughs> of course. Oh, but you'd better make sure that's okay with your mother, Elsie. Won't be long. Don't go away, Zunk. We'll be back soon. Did you know that a meat eating Trinosaurus Rex is as big as a Brontosaurus? And they only eat vegetables. Hmm. I didn't know that, Sue. If I only ate salad, would I be as big as a Diplodocus? I don't think you'd be quite that big, Elsie. But vegetables are very good for you. Come along now, dears. Dinosaurs don't exist anymore. Eat your supper before it gets cold. Dinosaurs lived billions and billions of years ago. But they're extinct now. What clever little zebras you two are. Well, it's a very interesting subject, Grandpa. Hmm, it certainly is. Oh, uh, thank you, dear. That was delicious. I quite agree. <laughs> thank you. Oh, excuse me. I must bring in the washing before it gets dark. The other sheet. Uh... Oh, my giddy aunt. I've got news for you. Dinosaurs are not extinct. Hmm? There's a whopping big one in the garden. Don't be scared. It's sunk. Amazing. <laughs> How did he get into our garden? Zoo and I made him. With Grandpa's help. Did you know that your giant dinosaur is wearing one of my best sheets? Uh, really? <laughs> I found it on the lawn. It must have blown off the washing line. Or maybe I knocked it off the line when I was carrying all those boxes. I think I might have walked over it when I dropped my cushion. Well, I'm sorry, but I must have it back. Mm. If you help me to wash the sheet, I promise I'll find something to replace it. <laughs> Can I rinse it now? <laughs> Go on, Zoo. <laughs> Don't tell Grandma that. She'll have us washing sheets all week. Well done. It's as good as new. There you are. This should suit your giant dinosaur down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I were him, I'd stay out here in the garden. But it would be fun to have a sleepover with Zonk. Not if your grandma sees him first. Why, Grandpa? <laughs> She'd have Zonk washing sheets till morning. <laughs> 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 Well 
Rosie. It was a surprise present from my mum. Shall we go for a ride? I haven't got a bicycle. Oh, yes, I forgot. Could you borrow one? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Grandpa, how do you ever find anything in here? <laughs> because I never throw anything out, I know that whatever I'm looking for must be in here somewhere. I just move a box here, and move a box there. Aha! Here it is. <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? My old bicycle. It's got a very big basket. Oh, very useful. And the seat's really high. I can easily drop the seat. I think it might be too big for me, Grandpa. Oh, not at all. With a few little adjustments, it'll be perfect. My mum gave it to me. You're so lucky, Elsie. Oh. I know. <sighs> That's about the right height for you. Uh, try it out for size, Zoo. <laughs> Good. You can touch the pedals and you can reach the handlebars. But the front tire is flat. <laughs> it's only a puncture. Oh, dear. I won't be able to ride your bike after all, Grandpa. Nonsense! I'll have that puncture mended in no time. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you about when I won the Grand Tour de Montagne on this very bike? Ah, Zoo. Those were the days. Zach, I can't play right now. I'm waiting for Zoo. Brilliant! We can all play on the swings together. Uh, Zoo and I are going on a bike ride. <gasps> a bike ride? Cool. Can I come? But you haven't got a bike, have you, Zach? Neither has Zoo. He's borrowing one. I can borrow one too. But Zoo will be here soon. It doesn't matter. I can catch you up. Another time, Zack. <sighs> when you get your own bicycle, we'll go cycling every day. I promise. <laughs> as good as you. Thanks, Grandpa. It's... Uh... Perfect. <laughs> With brakes like that, you can stop super quick. Your bicycle's really fast, Grandpa. Hmm, it was state-of-the-art in bicycles 50 years ago. But did I ever tell you about the time... I'm gonna beat you this time, Zoo. No, you won't. <laughs>
okay, Zack? Uh, I'm all right, but my scooter isn't. Come on, Zack. Let's pick up all the broken scooter bits. Why bother? It's just a useless old scooter. You never know, Zack. <laughs> Careful, Zack. We don't want any more accidents. Huh? My bike. It won't go. Hmm? You've got a flat tire, Elsie. But it's a brand new bike. You probably rode over a sharp stone. Oh, no. Don't worry. I know someone who can fix it. Grandpa, we've got a broken scooter and a flat tire. <laughs> well, now, that's a challenge. My new bike's already broken, but your really old one is still going. Grandpa's bike is special, Elsie. He rode it in the Tour de Montagne. It's a race. And he won. Wow, it must be really fast. It's got brilliant brakes, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grandpa says you can stop super quick on his bike. I'd love a basket and a shiny bell on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't make bicycles like this anymore, Elsie. Let's get to work. Zack, one perfectly safe scooter. Thank you. Oh, it's brilliant. A million times better than before. Mind you, take care of your scooter, Zack. Get your dad to oil it regularly and check the wheels too. If you do, it should last as long as Zeus' bicycle has. I will. Whee! <laughs> Right, Elsie, let's take a look at your bicycle. Bicycle should have a bell. And the basket, too. They always come in handy. You've got a new bike with some old bits, too, Elsie. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure, Elsie. You're so clever, Grandpa. Oh, fixing things is what grandpas do best, Sue. Joking, Bizu. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go 
Good morning, everybody. Hmm? Hi, Grandpa. Funny thing, I could have sworn I heard someone shouting something about potatoes earlier on. That was me. We're digging up potatoes today, Grandpa. Oh, of course we are. I'd almost forgotten. So, why don't we get started right away? <laughs> hmm? oh, that'll be Aunt Zelda and Uncle Xavier. Aunt Zelda? That usually means Zinnia, too. Come in. Hello, my dear. Hello. Oh, that's a pretty dress, Zinnia. Yes, Daddy bought it for me when I passed my ballet exam. <laughs> I had to do lots of plies, like this. And one, and two, and one, and two. Well done, my darling. Zoo. Your aunt and uncle have asked if we'll look after Zinnia for the day while they go to the tennis finals. They've been invited to sit in the royal box. So why aren't they taking Zinnia with them? I don't think foals are allowed. Zoo! Come on, Pock. Hello, Aunt Zelda. Hi, Uncle Xavier. Hi, Zinnia. Hello, Zoo. Do you like my dress? Uh, yes, very nice. Daddy bought it for me for passing my ballet exam. And then we put her down for tap dancing lessons. She's taken to it like a duck to water, haven't you, Princess? <laughs> yes, Daddy. Do you want to see how it's done, Zoo? Huh? And uh, tap together, tap will change, tap together, tap will change, tap together, tap will change. She's already the best dancer in the class, you know. Now, dear, time we were off. We can't keep the Archduke waiting, can we? See you later, my darling. Tap will change, tap, tap, tap will change. Ta da! Hmm. What do you want to play, Zinnia? Ready, Zoo? Oh, yes! Me and Grandpa are going to dig up potatoes. Want to help? In the garden? I don't think so. It's full of mud, and I don't like mud, and there might be worms, and I hate worms! Well, <laughs> we'll just have to make sure you don't meet any, won't we? Come on. Potatoes! 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 But... <gasps> Now, that's a fine lot of spuds. Let's see what I can come up with. <laughs> oh, that's not much of a potato, is it? There's not enough there to feed even Pock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Pock likes potatoes. <laughs> How can I tap dance on this? <clears throat> it doesn't make any noise at all. Well, perhaps you'd like a go at potatoing. No, thank you, Grandpa. I'll just do some ballet instead. What's the matter? Uh, a worm! A horrid, big, big worm! <gasps> Don't worry, Zinnia. I'll get it. I'm not afraid of worms. Oh! <laughs> Zoo? What's so funny? <laughs> it's not a worm. It's a caterpillar. Imagine being frightened of a caterpillar. <laughs> Poor Zinnia. Poor Zinnia? But it's just a caterpillar. No one's scared of a caterpillar except Zinnia. <laughs> well, 
people can be scared of the strangest things. Huh? Do you remember when we went hot air ballooning? Yes, that was brilliant. But... You didn't think it was quite so brilliant before we went up in it? Oh, no. I didn't. As I remember, you were really scared. Yes, I suppose I was. Scared of going all the way up in the air and... But you and Elsie helped me, didn't you? Mm hmm Um, I could help Zinnia. <laughs> Good idea. Zinnia? <laughs> well... Take it away, Zoo! It isn't a worm, Zinnia. Look! It's a caterpillar. It won't hurt you. Come on. Just take a look. It's all furry. And it's got a really cute face. <gasps> Not too close. Um, Don't worry. It is quite cute. Do you want to hold it? No. I mean... Yes. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> you are cute, aren't you? I shall call you... La Bella. Lobella? I think I might take you home with me. We can have tea together. Zoo? Zinnia? Come along, Lobella. What is it, Grandpa? I think you two might be quite interested in this. Look. What's that? It's called a cocoon. It used to be a caterpillar. Really? It doesn't look anything like a caterpillar. Not anymore. You see, when a caterpillar is fully grown, it spins a long silk thread around itself until it's completely covered. That's called a cocoon. Hear that, Lavella? You can spin silk! And it fastens itself to a plant with more silk. Then, something quite marvelous happens. What? The caterpillar, which is inside the cocoon, changes shape. What's it doing? Watch. What? <gasps> That's a butterfly! Wow! See that, Lavella? You're going to be a butterfly one day. A beautiful butterfly! <sighs> well, that's a good day's work, Sue. We've got enough potatoes to feed an army now. Zinnia, darling. Time to go home. Coming, Mummy! Come along, Labella. <laughs> uh oh! oh. oh. Zinnia, put that nasty thing down. It's not an it. She's a she. And she's not nasty. Labella is quite the most beautiful creature ever. And she's going to be even more beautiful. She's going to be a butterfly. So there. <gasps> no! <laughs> Imagine being scared of a caterpillar. Imagine. <laughs> hey, Presto! Alakazam! Uh, Zoo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, practicing. Practicing what? Mum and Dad took me to see a magic show last night. Go on. The mighty Mysterioso. He was brilliant. He made this rabbit appear out of a hat. And he even walked through a solid wall. Then he put a lady in the wardrobe and she disappeared. Hmm. So I've decided I'm going to be a magician when I grow up. Alakazam! I thought you were going to be a racing driver. No, that was yesterday. See you, Olsey. See you later, Zoo. <laughs> I'm home! Alakazam!
Alakazam. And hello to you too. What's Alakazam supposed to mean? It's my special magic word. I just magicked you to make you disappear. But I'm glad it didn't work. <laughs> well, I've done a little bit of magic today as well. You have? Mm-hmm. In the kitchen. Oh, hello there, Zoo. Hello, Zoo. Hello, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Mum says she's done some magic. Ready? Abracadabra. Chocolate chip cookies, my favourite. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> They're your favourite too, aren't they, Pock? Mm. Now, not too much or neither of you will have room for dinner. Of course. Making cookies isn't real magic. Not like the magic I'm going to do when I grow up. Oh, I don't know. These cookies are enchanted. Take a bite of one of these and you can do proper magic. Hmm? Now, if I just go behind this door and you say a magic word... Hmm. Oh, and wave your wand three times. <laughs> Alakazam! One, <laughs> two, three! Huh? Grandpa's disappeared! Boo! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> See? What did I say? Magic! <laughs> that wasn't magic, Grandpa. It was. When you're Grandpa's age, it's magic if you can run that fast. Look! <laughs> <laughs> what did Mum say? Still, if I'm going to be a magician, I'll need some magic stuff, but I haven't got any. Ah, well, maybe I can help you there. <gasps> a magic set, eh? Yes, I believe I have got one of those in stock. And if memory serves me correctly, it ought to be right here. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Zoe. You're welcome, Zoo. Thanks, Grandpa. Very good. <laughs> Alakazam! Oh, that's clever. Alakazam! Sets, Grandpa. But what I need is a really, really good trick, like the mighty Mistrioso. Hmm. You mean something like the magic he used when he made his assistant disappear? It may be. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I think I've got the very thing. Yes, that's just what you need. Come on, Zoo. Here we go. This is the magic box that's going to help you make your assistant, Pock, disappear. How does it work, Grandpa? <laughs> Look, it's easy. You open the door and your assistant gets inside. Oh, and don't worry, Pock. There's a door at the back of the box which you can disappear through before Zoo says, Halakazam! and opens the door again. Now we just have to paint it and make it look nice for your show this evening. I'm looking forward to this. Mm. Oh, there's nothing I like more than a bit of magic. Except a macaroon. Oh, I do love a macaroon. And a nice... Shh! 
the show's about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the magnificent Zuprindo. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> Paper. Am I correct? Uh, yes, that's mine. Uh, but hang on, I haven't read the sports results yet. No matter, sir. Alexam! There! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> All in one piece. Well, well, well. I see City beat United quite handsomely. And now, for my next trick, I will need the help of an assistant. Alakazam! How did he do that? Do you think he could magic me a macaroon? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please, for the best magic trick in the magnificent Zuprendo show. Before your very eyes, my assistant will disappear. <laughs> Please be silent, as this trick needs a lot of concentration. One, two, three, Alakazam! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> thank you, thank you. But I couldn't do without my assistance forever. So, to magic him back, Kazam! Ta-da! Oh! Hmm? Hmm? Oh! Alakazam? Oh! <gasps> Alakazam! Oh! Where's he gone, Sue? I don't know! He was supposed to go through here. It's a hidden door. And then he should have hidden under the table until it was time to come back again. Well, that's clever. Yes, but... but he's disappeared. Really and truly. Maybe I really am magic. Pock? Pock? Are you there? Is the show over? Shall we have some refreshments while we wait for Pock? must have done a disappearing act all the way to the kitchen and then helped himself to some more of my cookies. Isn't that right, Park? So, I'm not really magic after all. Well, that's a relief. I would have been very sad if you disappeared forever, Park. And I wouldn't have been pleased if he'd disappeared all the cookies I made. Oh, no, would I? <laughs> that was a wonderful show, Zoo. <laughs> it was, um... Magic? Magic. Down, Pock. The football game's only just started. Uh -huh. oh. Brilliant Zoo's got the ball. <laughs> Not for long. Brilliant Elsie's got it now. <laughs> oh, ref! That tackle looked good to me, Zoo. Play on. Your turn, Zoo. Let's practice passing the ball. All right. <laughs> uh, nice pass. 
passing. Good teamwork. <laughs> Look, Zoo, Pop's coming to play with us. <laughs> yeah, join the team, Pop. <laughs> Hello, Zach. You're just in time for a game of football. Can I play, Dad? Of course, Zach. As long as Zoo's grandpa doesn't mind keeping an eye on you whilst I go back to the shop. Don't worry, Mr. Zoe. I'll stay here with the little zebras. Thanks. I'll pick him up later. See you later, Dad. Yay! Yay! Come on, Zach! <laughs> Yay! Keep your eye on the ball, Zoo. Not me. Hmm? It's Puck. He's copying Grandpa's whistles. <laughs> I think Puck's decided to be ref too. He can't be the ref. He doesn't know the rules. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know the rules very well either. Huh? It's against the rules to touch the ball with your hands when you play football, Zach. Play on! Go, Ozzy! Go! And Ali's gonna score! Huh? Did I do something wrong? Mm -hmm. Play on, Elsie! But you just whistled. Grandpa didn't whistle, Elsie. It is Puck. Puck is mixing us all up. Maybe only Grandpa should whistle. You can still play, Puck. Just don't whistle. Oh, dear. He was really enjoying whistling. Then he should carry on. But we'll get mixed up again. We'll just have to learn the difference between your grandpa's whistles and Pock's whistles. <laughs> to Zoo, to Zack, to Elsie, and back to Zoo. Nice footwork, good passing, oh, great teamwork. Well done. It wasn't me. Pock! Oh, he's mixing us up again. Maybe Pock could take a break. Would you like a rest, Pock? You could watch the game of Grandpa. Please, Pock. Just till we finish our game. Huh? You 
shouldn't have said that, Zoo. You've really upset Pock. Zack said things too. I only said I was mixed up. You've spoiled Pock's fun. Hmm? I'm going to talk to him. Pock! Wait! Are you all right, Sue? I've upset Puck. Ooh, what happened? First, I told Puck to stop whistling. Then I told him he couldn't play with us. And now Ozzy and Zack won't play with me. I'm sure we can sort it out. But first, we've got to find Puck. Cross. Nobody wanted to upset you. Especially Zoo. You know, he's your best friend. Puck! I'm sorry, Puck. I shouldn't have said you couldn't play with us. Please come and play again. <laughs> What's Puck saying? I think he's saying he's sorry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! We're all friends again! Yay! Let's play football! <laughs> On one condition. pock has got the best referee's whistle, so let's leave the whistling to him. Good idea, Zoo. <laughs> but Pock doesn't know the rules of football. <laughs> then it's time somebody taught him. You don't whistle for fun, Pock. You only whistle when someone's breaking a rule. Breaking a rule is doing something like tripping up a player or touching the ball. <laughs> Keep an eye on the game and only whistle if you see something going wrong. You got it? Morning, everyone. Morning, Dad. Mwah. Dad! It's Valentine's Day, Zoo. You're supposed to kiss the one you love. Kissing. Ugh. You won't be wanting this Valentine card, then. Thanks, Mum. Mwah. It's from me, too. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you. Oh, here he is. And look what Grandpa's just given me. I got a Valentine, too. This one's for Nana. I'm going to give it to her right away. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you! <laughs> Hi, Zoo. Hi, Elsie. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Roses are red, violets are blue, Zoo's my best friend, and I'm his too. That's brilliant, Elsie. I made out the rhyme all by myself. I'm sorry, I haven't got a Valentine card for you, Elsie. 
I didn't give one to Mum and Dad either. You could always make them a card. I'd have to make more than one card. I need one for Nana and another one for Grandma and Grandpa. That's three cards. Why don't you make one big beautiful card for everybody in your family? Zoo's family Valentine. That's a great idea, Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> There should be a family photograph in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, Zoo, is this you? <laughs> yes. Look, Elsie, me and you. <laughs> Look at your grandpa on his racing bike. <laughs> He's got a funny haircut. Ah, oh, I can't find a family photograph anywhere. It'd be quicker to draw a picture. Good thinking, Elsie. Finished! I can't fit any more people into my drawing. Hmm, my picture isn't as nice as a real Valentine card. You could put your picture into a frame to finish it off. <laughs> a decorated frame with special things on it that remind me of my family. We must remember where we found everything. Then we can put it all back later. Nana's silk thread was in her sewing basket. <laughs> Who does this picture remind you of? <laughs> Mum, she loves bananas. And the smiley face from the fridge reminds me of her too. The stamps belong to Dad. I found those in the drawer over there. The little red hearts we found in the kitchen belong to Grandma. She uses them to decorate her cakes. And we found Grandpa's string and the packet of seeds outside on the garden table. Who do these ice cream wafers remind you of, Sue? Me, of course. I love ice cream. Oh, hello, you mm. two. <laughs> I'm just looking for my garden string. Seem to have lost a packet of seeds, too. I, I know I put them down somewhere. <laughs> We'd better move all this stuff before someone sees what we're doing. Oh, I thought I might have left my cake decorations in here. Are they little red hearts? Mm. Not to worry, they must be in the kitchen. I hope your grandma and grandpa won't mind us borrowing their things. Don't worry, we'll give them all back. Let's go outside. Nobody will bother us in the garden. I'll put the smiley face over Mum's head. <laughs> the garden string looks like your grandpa's hair. Hi there. Ooh. Have you seen my stamp, Sue? Hello, Dad. Oh, that looks interesting. Grandpa's got lots of stamps, Dad. Good idea, Sue. I'll borrow one from him. We've got to find somewhere else to finish this picture. That's it! Zoo's family valentine. Look what Pock's given us to use. I think Pock's trying to tell us that we haven't got anything of his in Zoo's family picture. Thank you, Pock. Your feathers have made my picture even prettier. Thank you too, Elsie. I couldn't have done it without your help. That's all right. I like making valentines. Oh! I'd better go home for supper.
I hope everybody likes your valentine. Bye, Elsie. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hmm. There's only one person I haven't made a valentine card for. Here's what, Zoo? A photograph of me and Elsie. Oh, that's a very nice picture of the two of you. Uh, what are you going to do with it? I want to make it into a Valentine present for Elsie, Grandpa. What a nice idea. It would be even nicer in a frame. Oh, come with me. I've got just the thing. Uh, uh, there. A Perfect fit. I knew this old frame would come in handy one day. Thank you, Grandpa. So, uh, off you go. Not yet. I want to decorate the picture frame before I give it to Elsie. Well done, Zoo. That was a tricky piece of work. Well... Aren't you going to give it to Elsie? I've just got one more thing to do. Roses are red, violets are blue. I like the park, and so do you. That's very good. Well done, Zoo. It's not as good as the one Elsie wrote for me. Hers was brilliant. Well, come on. Have another go. OK. Roses are red, ice cream is blue. Oh, that doesn't work. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, roses are red, tulips are purple. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of anything to go with purple, uh, apart from hey, turtle. Supper time! Roses are pink, you make me wink. Oh, <laughs> roses smell nice, and so do pink mice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bizu. Your valentine is gorgeous. It's for everybody I love. How clever of you to put little things beside each of us. They're the things that remind me of all of you. <laughs> I love my happy, smiley face. And I'm glad I found my stamps. You can have them back, Dad. I only borrowed them for the picture. I'll leave them there for the time being. At least I'll know where they are. You can keep my sugar hearts, too, Zoo. They look lovely on your picture. Thank you, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> I love my crazy stringy hair. You're a clever boy, Zoo. It's the nicest Valentine I've ever seen. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Hey, Zoo. Did your family like their Valentine? They loved it. I made this for you, Elsie. Happy Valentine's Day. Roses are red, violets are blue. Elsie's the coolest. No one else will do. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. You're my best friend and I'm yours too. <laughs> <laughs>